next on Quint's Garage. We got fire, fire. On this cold episode of Quint's Garage, my halogen lights, they work. Everything is fine. They're just not getting the range that I need. So I went on Evil Bay and I bought these puppies, which I don't, those look alien, different. I don't know what it does, but I see the biggest LED I've ever seen in my life. Not true at all, but it's big. And one, I hope they fit, because apparently China says that does. We'll see. But we're going to throw them in. Not only will it look badass. I think I've actually worked on that car that just drove by. It's still on the road. But, oh, it's going to be so cool. So let's get into it and see what we think. This should be a pretty... Oh, by the way, I can't find my tripod, so bear claw with me. You get a screwdriver in here, and you're going to take off these three bolts. There should be a third one. Yeah, it's back here. That hold in this uh, trim piece right here. You get that out. And it's going to be the same on both sides. So once I get the headlights pulled out, then I'll show you the wiring harness behind it. Now, you don't need to take the screws all the way out. Just loosen it. Then you can turn this. And then it should. Yeah, it slides out. It, it should. It, it, it should do that. There it is slides out careful not to lose this because this is literally the only thing that holds your headlight in then you've got your headlight with its oh that was about to come off so then you got this connector that comes off so go ahead and disco that and once you get that out of the way by the way both of my headlights the halogens still work they're good so i'm going to keep them but that's what it looks like You've got this housing here, and these screws back here are how you adjust the angle at which that shines. And then here's your uh, your connector. Your red is power. This is ground, and I believe this is... It's either a secondary ground or it's running lights. I'm not too sure. But let's... Uh, we're going to ignore all of the dirt inside that connector and just throw the new one in. So let's see how it fits. By the way, these are seven inch headlights. Um, Ford used them, Chevrolet, I think for a few years. Anyway, Jeep still uses them. So they do send you with the adapter cable for Jeep, um, which is actually pretty cool. You can also mount these on the thing that goes up there and you'll probably want that too. So it's actually a nice touch that they have that, but let's see how it fits in here. Okay, I did, it does fit perfectly. Um, I did just test it off camera, low beam and high beam. Um, you do have this connector here to wire in running lights, which will be uh, these right here. Um, I never use my running lights. If it's, by the way, your running lights, your side markers light up, and then your blinkers, they just do a low, something's burning down. Um, so I'm not going to wire these up. I might at a later date, but holy Moses, this is your low beam and then high beam. It's just literally everything in the world blinding like this, but I don't care because I always hate those trucks that blind people when they go down the road. So now I can be one of them. I actually think I will show you the comparison between the halogen and the lead, by the way. There was some engineering that had to be had there, but it ain't going a place. Halogen. LED. Oh, baby. LED. Halogen. Now let's go high beam. Check this out. High beam. Halogen. LED. When you're right in the direct beam, LED, halogen. Check this out. Holy Moses. 
the middle line is the low and then everything is high. Pretty good. We're going. All right, so behind the camera is my good buddy Gavin. He lives uh, just down the street from me. We're out driving the truck. So go ahead and shoot out across the hood. There are the new headlights. That's high beam. They, it is a thousand and fourteen percent better. Show them the view of uh, the miscellaneous city that we live in that they don't need to know. But yeah, what do you think, Gavin? I like them. They're, they're pretty sweet. They're I pretty mean, for bright. Six, for sixty bucks, shoot. know if you can hear me but this is the first time I've used the heater in a while and I'm getting like level 12 carbon monoxide so that's good